Hi everybody, I'm Robert LaRocca, you know me. Today we're going to take a look at bass plugins for Studio One Artist, the PreSonus, that's the version I have. And uh, I had a lot of trouble with using VST plugins for this app because of the latency, I couldn't play along with it. So I'm just going to show you how to get around the latency. It's really super simple, no problem. Um, the first thing you'll want to do is just take a look under the Studio One menu, and you can look at it on the start page um, or in the song. But if you go under options, you'll see like audio, on, under audio setup, you'll see that it auto detects your um, audio interface. That device block size is what you want to change to reduce latency. So you can see how it's at 2048. Um, and the input and output latency is really super high. Now the um, sample rate, that 48, um, you can't change that inside the song, so you'll want to have that set correctly when you set up your song. So like once you're inside the recording session, you won't be able to do that. So set it up before. And I set my sample rate now to 48 like a good person. I was using <laughs> 41, but then it's like nobody really uses that. So 24-bit and 48, and that's a good sample rate. It sounds really clear. We'll get rid of this extra track. And then you see the blue indicator showing you that monitoring is on. If that's off, you won't be able to hear the VST once you put it on the track. It will just sound like just the dry bass. So you need that on, and that's the problem that you end up having, and it's because of this device block size, this is the issue. See, when I bring that down to 64 samples, see how the input and output latency changes? At the default at 2048, it's at 44 and 43 output. When I change it to 64, it drops down to 2.94 and 1.44. So that is low enough latency you'll be able to record. So here's an example, drag over Ampire. Here's some presets, but if you see, look over the cabinet stays, the British one. So if you go over the, go to the very bottom where it says Zatz Baser, choose that, and that will um, give you the correct cabinet and everything. That's a lot easier. Just use that drop down, or that's what I do. You can use whatever you want. I turn up the input gain, that's my thing. The real issue is just mostly that I can't get enough output. I think it's because my Fender P bass pickups, they're not they're not really hot pickups. They sound good, but they don't have a lot of output. So anyway, I, that's why I'm using Ampire. Um, I put some compression before and after Ampire. This is just something I saw in a video and it sounds good, so I kept doing it. So you have one compressor before and then another compressor afterward, and then they're both set the same look under guitar and you'll see electric bass one. So I have that before and after Empire and then use the Zatz Baser plug preset for the plugin. That's pretty much it and it sounds okay. I mean, it sounds pretty good. I'm not a bass player, so, but I tune to B flat and no bass player wants to be in B flat. So I just got my own bass and this works.